Hi, my name is Chuck McGee, and today we're going to be talking about the six things that Christ accomplished by his death. Hi, welcome back to my channel, where we uplift, encourage everyone, and we never take our eyes, our heart, and our minds off of God. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have a moment afterwards, press the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. I'd really appreciate it. As we get ready for the resurrection of Christ this weekend, I think about when they crucified Jesus. On that Friday, it was the most darkest, painful, and discouraging day of his life. In fact, it was so bad that he sweated drops of blood. It looked as if he gave up, but as we all know, God had a different plan. They put him in the grave on Friday, and then they went on to celebrate their victory. Then Sunday morning came, and I believe on that day, the celebrating that they were doing was over. They discovered that the grave could not hold him. On that third day, he came out of his grave and lives now forevermore. At the beginning of the video, I said to you guys that I have six things to show you what Christ's death accomplished. So let's get started. Number one is expiation. Expiation means the removal of our sin and guilt. Christ's death removes, expiates our sin and guilt. The guilt of our sin was taken away and simply placed on Christ, who discharged it by his death. Number two is propitiation, whereas expiation refers to the removal of our sins, propitiation reveals the removal of God's wrath. Simply by dying in place for our sins, Christ removed the wrath of God that we justly deserved. In fact, it goes even further. Propitiation is simply not a sacrifice that removes wrath, but a sacrifice that removes the wrath and turns it into a favor. But, appropriation does not turn wrath into love. God already did love us. Number three, reconciliation. Whereas expiation refers to the removal of our sins and appropriation refers to the removal of God's wrath, reconciliation refers to the removal of the alienation from God. Because of our sins, we were alienated and separated from God. Christ's death removed the alienation and then we were able to reconcile with God. Number four is redemption. Our sins had put us in captivity of which we need to be delivered. The price that is paid to deliver someone from captivity is simply called a ransom. To say that Christ's death accomplished redemption for us means that it accomplished deliverance from our captivity through the payment of a price. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law. Christ redeemed us from the guilt of our sins. Christ redeemed us from the power of sin. One note though, we are not simply redeemed from the guilt of sin. To be redeemed from the power of sin means that our slavery to sin is broken. Number five, defeat the powers of darkness. Christ's death was a defeat of the power of Satan. He disarmed the rulers and authorities and put them to open shame by triumphing over them in him. Satan's only weapon that can ultimately hurt people is unforgiven sin. Christ took this weapon away from him for all who would believe, defeating him and all the powers of darkness in his death by, as the verse right before this says, having forgiven all of our trespasses by canceling the record of debt that stood against us with its legal demands. Number six, and he did all of this by dying as our substitute. The reality of the substitution is at the heart of the atonement, that is, by dying instead of us. We deserve to die, but he took our sins upon him and paid the penalty himself. This is what it means that Christ died for us. He gave himself for us. 
as Isaiah says, he was pierced through for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities, and the Lord has caused the iniquity of us all to fall on him. As I was doing research for this video for all of you, it was amazing. Uh, it just it filled my eyes with tears. It filled my heart with joy. So many ups and downs of what Jesus did for us and why he did it for us. Um, it was it was simply it was simply amazing and a thrill for me to do this video, and it just brought me closer to God. But the most important fact that I came across during my research for this video was that God will always finish what he started. If you stay in faith, God will always come through for you. I want to thank all of you for taking the time to watching this video. I want to wish all of you and your families a wonderful Easter. I pray for all of you. If you could subscribe to my channel, that would mean a great deal to me. If you can give me a thumbs up for this video, I would love that. And leave me a comment. If I said anything wrong in this video or if you want to dispute something that I might have said, let me know about it. I love to, I love to interact uh, with everybody who I follow and who follows me. Again, I appreciate everything. So if you could take a moment, you might want to check out this video that I did and this video that I did. And again, Happy Easter to all of you.